Hey, hello, Bax Music! My name is Martin, and I'm very excited that you're watching another video on the Bax Music UK YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Pioneer DJ, the DJ Rev1, the successor to the SB3, and I'll be telling you all the upgrades that it's got in its Rev1 form, and of course, how you can use it as a budget friendly way of starting your DJ career. So let's check it out. The Pioneer DJ Rev1 is one that is very comparable to a professional bevel mixer setup. What we have is two PLX style turntables and a DGM S mixer in the middle. Of course, everything is scaled down to be able to be a budget class battle mixer, but everything is set up that if you like that style of DJing, that is something that you can get on the cheap with the Rev1. There's a couple of upgrades that have been introduced in the Rev1 as compared to its predecessor, the SB3. What we find first and foremost is bigger jogs and we also find a bigger tempo slider, which is now 60 millimeters long as compared to the smaller one on the SB3. Another addition that is often seen on Pioneer's battle mixers are these lever affix right here and they've been also introduced on the Rev1. The lever affix allows you to pull them down for a small burst of affix, but if you want to free up your hands to do something else like scratch or maybe load in a new track or sample, you can also lock them by moving them up. It will lock your effect allowing you to free up your hands to do any of those tasks or more. The performance pads have also been moved to the center of this DJ controller, allowing you to intuitively and easily combine effects, trigger samples or scratch. For the connectivity of this DJ controller, we get what we expect for a controller without standalone capabilities. We have a USB connection that allows you to connect this controller to a computer and therefore Serato. We also have a left right out master true RCA. And one thing that I'll touch on later in this video is a dedicated jack to connect up a microphone to this controller. On the front, we find a headphone out so we can actually pre-listen our mix before we send it out into the world. As far as the build quality is concerned, this is a plastic housing, which you would expect for an entry level controller. But nonetheless, this feels very sturdy and rugged. And if you don't start throwing it around, it will last you for a very, very long time indeed. Both of the jogs are able to house two tracks, which you can load in using Serato, either Lite or Pro, using these three and four buttons right at the top of each of the jogs, allowing you to go very creative with your mixes, even in an entry level package. A new feature added on the Rev1 is the Track Ink Scratch. And by activating the Track Ink Scratch, it allows you to, whenever you release or roll back on the jog, that the track would go back to your previous cue point, allowing you to without too much effort, scratch from the same point over and over again, if you would like to. Activating it is as simple as pressing this button right on top of the performance pads, right in the middle of the mixer. The thing I touched on earlier, which I find a very welcome addition to a entry level budget class DJ controller is the addition of a TRS in or a jack cable in for a microphone. What this allows you to do is talk to your audience. Let's say you're live streaming your DJ sets online without having to buy an external audio interface to be able to do so. This keeps the price point of everything very low and allows you to connect up a microphone and actually communicate with your audience instead of typing on a keyboard. These are some of the changes that Pioneer DJ has put forth in order to make the Rev1 replace the very stable SB3 in their entry-level Serato controller lineup. And that is with very good reason. This is made for the budget-conscious entry-level DJ, which saves you from buying any software because Serato Lite is free, which saves you from buying an external audio interface because we have a microphone in here. This allows you to start live streaming with your DJ mixes right from the moment go. And that is a great way to start learning, building an audience and grow as an artist. So if you like this controller and want to learn more about it, I left a link for you in the description down below, which brings you to our product page. There you can read all the information discussed here and maybe even some more at your own leisure. If you like this video do leave us a thumbs up and any questions or suggestions are more than welcome in the comments section down below as well if you like this video and want to see more of them you can subscribe to the Bax Music UK YouTube channel and I'd love to see you again on the next video bye bye